Hello, 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 welcome back to my channel. This time I am gonna make a little video uh, making something for myself. And um, sometimes you find something so, so cute um, in, in, in my local store at Action and so cheap and I just love it. And I came across these three bullet journals and there was so much more in it, but I only like and I already tear it out. I just love using these um, these papers, but I don't like it as a. I just hate it. I really like um, those. I call these these these. I call this binding. Oh my gosh, that's already in it. Um, I have no clue what it's called. Just for the zotter, the zotter thing going on with, with using this one right here, the zotter. And it's been so, so long that I used it and I just wanted to play a little bit with it. And I just love using this stuff with this binding system. So that's what I'm gonna do, a little play around. And I just tear this out with all three of them. These are having little pluses, but I love using these. And this one ha is pink. But it has a very, very light white. I don't, yeah, I think you can see that. Just little white little pieces. And um, why I like to use these, um, I like to use these for um, making little sketches, for making new pages and everything. So it's easier for me that there is something already on it. So yeah, just having a little playtime. For myself this time cool all right so let's get started and i have no clue what i'm gonna do um but i'm just gonna start just gonna start i'm gonna use this uh paper to give it a special uh attitude with with this one if i'm gonna use it upstairs it match <laughs> so that is why i'm gonna use it uh, i don't know exactly which papers but we'll get into that all right have fun let's see what i can make with this okay so what to do first first of all i need to make all these pages loose so i need to cut these oh let me grab a bigger cutting mat that's better than this small one so let's grab a ruler and just cutting all these out. Just take your time for that. Doing that. Each stroke, you just have to take your time till you are all down. Almost. Yep, here we go. Let me see if I am having them all separate. Yep, only here. Just a little piece is not completely. do them one by one just to see how it works because I always can change things if I'm not happy with one or the other. First of all I do like to check if every single one of them are loose. Call me mad, but as you can see they also are glued together a bit so I'm just gonna make sure that everything is getting get set. This not have to be taking too long. I'm making a little sketchbook doesn't have to be too fancy but yep. Yeah. 
And I know there are so many sketchbooks um, available in, in stores, but not much with that wing binding system. Not that much. I do have one uh, downstairs. Oops. Also with my computer. I love it. And I'm going to tell you why I love it that much. Because I am a terrible user. Not a terrible user. But <laughs> I just like that system because if you flip it around, it's easy to use your uh, page on the left side. And with these... With these, if you flip it to the left, I, I don't know, and especially when it, it's getting thicker, it's for me it's not easy to work on this side. So I like to flip it over and have this side not flip open. If I know, <laughs> it gets, gets, yeah, that's just my opinion. I'm going to show you when it's, when it's done. Alright, so now these are done. I think now it's a good idea to make the cover. So I'm just going to use, oh my gosh, why did I put this away? It's a good idea to just cut the cover off. And I just think that I'm just going to cut this not too short. So I'm just going to cut. off and I think it's the same size still yep okay I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so I'm actually just gonna pin and change a bit all right now these are done and the next thing is I'm gonna wrap this around with black because I absolutely love the black edge around. So I'm just gonna grab a black piece of paper and I'm just gonna wrap it up. Okay, so let's grab some glue. You also can use some tape if you like. Totally up to you what you like to use. By the way, I bought these journals, I think so. Yeah, was it, I think last year or even before the corona. And I had this idea so, so long ago. And I finally thought, now this is the time to do this project and I could I could have done this um, without filming but hey why not just put the camera on just to show you how easy this can be done all right so I'm gonna leave this on I'm going to use it so often. The cutting plate, the cutting mat. All right, so now this is done. Lily, I'm just gonna go use it again. You don't have to use it, you also can just use your scissors, but why not use it if you have it? we go and I'm just gonna wrap it around and I'm just gonna glue this first so the glue can be getting a little dry so it's easier to put it all in using my bone folder to squeeze the edge nicely against the edge
And again, for this one, you can use tape if you like. You can use both if you like. You can use anything you like. If you like to burnish the edges, then it will give you a nice clean edge. I always do this with wrapping it around. Alright, now I'm just going to go with my bone folder. I'm just going to make that little corner around. So just feel where your corner is and just fold it. Wrap it around. Yep, and then add some glue. Here we go. Here we go. Again. Push this against. And just wrap it in. There we go. Also, make the edges nice. it can get. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the same with the other one and when I'm finished with that I come back to you. Okay guys, so I am done with these. Um, I'm gonna decorate. Um, I'm gonna use these four. It's the back of this one and this is the back of this one. So these two, four, I'm gonna use. First of all, I like to start with the cover. I'm going to cut down this top. There we go. Now, because of... I'm just going to see how the best I can do this. I can use one way. Or this way because here are but I also like the, the bottom can we use it all hmm. can be but then we need to cut things out and um, but, but it's a challenge for me absolutely I actually love to try that out see if we can do that all right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to try to add this in the middle. Just see how far we can get. Is it possible? Hmm. Everything is possible, of course. You also can cut this off. Maybe that's a better idea. Let's do that first. Okay, so let's try it out, guys. I am just cutting this off. 
And I'm gonna cut this in this in the this part. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yep. Well, no worries, no worries, no worries. Because we can add everything around it. That's perfectly fine. Um, I am going to use one side. And that's the one piece that I am going to use the most. No worries. I did mess it up, but it, it, will, it will be nicely at the end. Just don't panic. Don't panic at all. I'm only going to smooch this side. The rest it will cover up. Okay, guys. Join my adventure. Make it nice. If you make it nice, then you will use it. That's always the case. If you're not making it not nice, then it's a total waste of time. That's always with me. If, if, it, if I'm not happy with it, then I'm not going to use it whatsoever. First of all, I am going to cut this piece nicely. I can just cut it, it, it on, but that's not nice. So I am going to just... Follow the lines. Does not have to be perfect, but this is way nicer than just glue a straight cutted piece of paper on. Okay, so just follow the lines. Does not have to be perfect. Just move your papers or your scissors totally. What do you prefer using? I love to use wiggle my papers. Just and I am a terrible fussy cutter, but I'm just basically just cutting it out. The best I can. There we go. Almost at the end. Here we go. All right. Now I'm just gonna smooch the edges. Makes everything so much nicer. Just a little basic. So the edges. There we go. Put some glue on, and especially on those edges, guys. You don't want that this is coming loose when you're going to use it. Here we go. Glue it on. one make sure your glue is one with the bottom all right now let's get started with this one at the top now first of all where is the middle? And cut this down the same as the bottom. Check it out if you cut it nice. And I did. 
All right, now you can glue this down like I just told you, but it's nicer if you just follow some lines. Makes everything so much nicer. Just a little fussy cutting here and there. Make it as you did your stinking, stinking best to cut this out. Just they do not know that this is just a really quick fussy cutting. Make it a little nice. Not too nice. There we go. Smudge the edges a bit. Does not have to be perfect too. Hey guys, it's a notebook. We're not gonna send this to the queen. <laughs> Something like that. But it's for you. Yes, it's for you and you want to make it nice but I don't want to make it too perfect. Well, is that a thing that I like to give you? No, actually not. But I know myself, if I'm going to put too much effort to it, then it it, it is not... Um, it can be looking handmade. It can be done. It does not have to be absolutely perfect. If you want to make it perfect then just find a sheet that fits on this page. But like I do it right now, it's the look that I that I definitely want it for it. Now for this one, um, same thing of course. First you need to cut this same height. Losing the pair. I don't want to lose the pair, but need to, need to, need to, need to. I can always keep those little things. Um, all right, again, I'm just gonna fussy cut quick those little pieces. Especially on the cover. The cover, you, you definitely want to make it nice. You want to make it nice. Just having fun with some papers. Search a paper that you like. We all have an old notebook or perhaps you have something similar to like to use. down and then I'm gonna see if I need something to add it all right but for now I always love I already love to see how it looks so this is how you can make a nice frame out of a bigger Page than it already is. See, it's perfect. I love it. Love it, love it. Now, actually, you have the same page, but then you make it smaller. This is the way how I do it. Cool. And you can, you can. Um, fussy cut if you like to add the pear or uh, a nice flower at the bottom but I think it's already nice so I'm not just gonna throw this away <gasps> I'm gonna throw something away yes I am all right so that's it um let's go to the back the back it's simple um which one do I like to use I want to use these three yeah, I think I'm going to use this one, just the back. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, now this time no fussy cutting. You can if you like. You always can fussy cut things out. on the inside if you like First cover is done. Yes, cool. Cool. Well, the rest is simple. Just use what you want on the outside. What will look nicely on the back? I think this one. What do you think? I definitely think this one have a larger one otherwise I will not see again the mark to cut it down. Here we go. Keep it simple for the back. This, this this direction always like to see if I can save this. always check it out Is that easy or what? Just pimping a nice notebook, <laughs> put a journal. Yeah, cool. And then this goes for the back. This goes on the inside. And then everything will fit nicely. Okay, this is how it's gonna look when it's ready. Okay, next step, and for me it's the hardest step for now because it's been such a long time that I ever used this other. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. 
this is how it needs to be cool let's grab the other all right let's check it out i'm just gonna start with the cover uh, all right so you have this lined up and then you have these six holes this is the arrow that's in the middle and um this little guy is a guide line where you can go to the next one so oh my gosh do i need to start in the middle or do i just start where i like to start um all right where do i start what's wise what is the wisdom perhaps it's a good idea to start in the middle i have no clue let's check it out shall i just do it with just one piece of paper let me do that first maybe that's a better idea before i waste my <laughs> just papers okay guys let's check it out i'm just gonna see what's the middle that's this check it out i'm just gonna do first one page put this in the middle yeah had the little wiggle and now i'm just gonna all right that turns out pretty good i missed the spot Alright, so making another hole, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Alright, that went pretty nice. Not complete in one line, if you can see that. Missed a little, but starting in the middle, I think it's a good idea. Wait, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that starting in the middle. That's right here. Now, let me see if this can cut this piece. This is going to be in the way, so I'm just going to put it to the back for just now. Keeping it straight. Maybe it's a good idea to turn it this way. Alright. Okay, cool. Now I can put this to the front. Put it in. Push this forward so this is in that hole. And then it should be. Here we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn it over. So I see the first hole, push it in, and this little guideline, yep, forward, so it's nice in, alright, whoops, oh yeah, and this back of course, Ooh, all right, that went nice. Yeah, so it worked perfectly. Oh my God, it, yeah, I know I'm getting hot because it's been so long ago that I, that I used this system. But guys, 
cross, cross, cross. Let me just check it out. Definitely need to check it out on which side you need your holes. That's on this side. Right. Checking the middle. There we go. Turn it over. Oh my gosh. Turns out pretty, pretty cool. There we go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Look how nice this is, front and back. All right, guys, so now I need to do exactly the same with all these. And of course, I need to have um, several piles. I don't know how much I can use it in. I think definitely we need to add the middle in, in this one too. So we all have the same one. Okay, let's see. How much can we add at the same time? No clue. Just, just playing around. I don't know what the middle is right now. <laughs> Keeping an eye on that line. Keeping an eye on that line. Just there we go. Let's go to this side. Cool, and so on, and so on. Cool. All right. I'll be back in just a second. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that is done. Let's check it out. How long this needs to be. It's right here. And then you can cut this shorter. Now you have this with your zodder, and you can see how large this is. This is a three fourth, is it? Yes, a three fourth. And with this, this little tool, you can. Be sure that this is the right the right one the right size you want to squeeze this together. But first, of course, we need to add all of these in there. Now you have your first cover, and the back we need to put it. I believed, I believe 
on here and when it's done you can flip this to the back and then it's I thought it would it, it was it was that Ooh. so let's see all right so let me first add all those pages in see if see let's just see if I can add these all together or maybe a few first just all right that's the first part Now the cover, I hope I do this correctly guys, it's been so long that I did this, but if I'm not correct, then I always can adjust it, alright, that's one, and now the back. all in here all right now now we're gonna grab back this other and now you just have to I like to start in the middle and now you just have to squeeze this together let's go to this let's go to this check it out and then everything is nicely squeezed together and now you grab the back and you fold it to this side and there you have it oh my gosh ah. done and now i can tell you why i love this binding system to use in a notebook because if i'm going to write something here and I flip this to this side and I like to write right here yep now I can flip this nicely to here and I still can write and that's just my thing <laughs> I don't know but I like it okay cool so that is how we make our own little notebook super cool super super cool now let's see i do have some um some leftovers let's check that out what if we make oh, why not use it Oh, this is fancy. I like it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to make, well, let me just use one piece right here. Just want to see where the middle is a bit. Just grab your scoreboard. it put it nicely on its spot and then of course just as always make another mark all right now at this time let me just fold a half inch at the bottom Sometimes I like to do that, not always, but let's do it this time. There you have it. You can, um, you can of course, cut this shorter, that's not needed, but you also can cut this um, off, but I do like it, so why? I, I just like how it already is. Alright, smooch the edges. How easy can we make a pocket? That easy. Yes. Let's 
start in one corner. Here we go. Nice pockets. It can be that simple. Yes, it can. Nice simple pockets. It can be that simple. Cool. Yes. If you don't like to see those um, little back, those those little hinges, you always can, but not not necessary. But you can. You can add um, an extra piece of paper. For the back, if you like. I don't think it's necessary, but you can. I'd like to give you an, an example. Give it a nice extra touch to it. Glue this in. Shovel these over your hinges. Here we go. And just see how deep you like. I just want to see this. love it you can do another one on top but i don't think that's that's necessary all right so i'm gonna make another one of course just love it love it but then with this one where is the middle just eyeball it a bit again score this go to this side there we go bottom if you like to do that Here we go. Starting on the left. Here we go. Pockets. And just use this. To make it a little easier. Where was the mark? Where was the mark? Oh, here it is. Make it a little nicer. Oh my gosh. It can be that simple. Yes, it is. And it's not that this went super, super fast. But, oh my gosh, I love it. Put this in here. As deep as you like. Nice tuck spot. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah. I think it's done. 
right, what do you think? Do you like it? You can write something down here if you like. Um, something as um, a little frame or something that tells you what's inside. Anything you can do. Alright guys, I hope you like it. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ones. So I have three of these. But yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Super cool. It can be that easy. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, and then after a fun time playing, <laughs> those three journals are ready and they now are completely my style. Um, I absolutely love this. So in the pocket I added a few of those uh, ephemera cards in it. So this is uh, the second one I did also with some cutouts. Looking so, so nice. And also the front and back has the same pocket. And this one um, also adding some tags. Another pocket. And then this one you saw already doing. Me doing. Love these little tags that play already some. Alright, so that is done. I hope you like it. And um, Look at this, how fancy this is. Okay, so um, yeah, now I have nice three journals to work with. Um, love it. Match my little box. <laughs> um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this short video. Um, how about using the Zadar once in a while, making these beautiful journals. Very easy to use and um, I hope you liked it. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.